Hello folks, this is Vagrant, welcome back to Animal New Crossing and Twin Peaks. It is 7.58 in the morning, so just in time for Nooks to open any minute now. As she just said. Hoping for something cool. New art gallery has opened up, very cool, gonna check that out. Please be mindful there is fake artwork, so oh no. Special ceremony, of course. Cheers, Isabel. Right, so the art gallery has officially opened up. We're going to go check that out. We're hopeful as well that Red has come back. You know, don't really know that for sure. Uh, let's check in with the mail first things first, see what's going on. Happy Home Academy. Oh, yeah, they said that today was a new um, evaluation day. So I got just over 30,000 points. Now I haven't spent no time decorating the home, right? I don't really expect much. <laughs> you need 200,000 points for the top rank. So I am uh, quite a ways away, to say the least. I think it's every week. There's our music, and there is our mountain bike. Cool stuff. Let's, uh, what have I got in my inventory? Let's see what we got. What was it? A silver HHA plaque. <clears throat> so, we're going to put all this away. We're going to nip up to the north to see if Red's there in his little boat. And then we'll go check in at the museum and we'll go check in and we'll just we'll just see what's going on on the island, I guess. Oh, and it's turnip day! So we're going to buy lots and lots and lots of turnips. Like, <laughs> I was going to say a million worth, but you know what? I've got three million in the bank, so why not spend like two million, if possible? I'm, I'm going to go hard on the nips, alright? That's, that's all I'm saying. And then I gotta. Oh, I changed the turnip farm a little bit, as you can see. I put it. I just replaced the texture, basically, with this sort of dirt one. Uh, I also planted a few more flowers all around the place, and I think that's about all I've done. I've also moved some trees about. We need to see spruce ones really often to give it that sort of natural forest kind of look. It's looking sexy. Anyways, let's go have a little peek over here. Come on, red. Yes, very cool! Okay, I'm excited about this. I've not done this before. This is the first time I've had Red's ship actually turn up. So, I am, yeah, I'm quite excited to give this a go. I might need more money. Well, let's, let's hop in anyway. What? Who am I meant to ask? Eh? Is he on the island somewhere? Because we've already done his thing, right? Like, we've talked to him already. And we did the initial Reds challenge thingamajiggy. So I'm surprised that didn't work. Oh, hello, cheeky. Let's grab that. What's real? Maybe he's in the. Yes, I know. <laughs> My shovel is very colourful, shall we say. Um... Oh, we should grab our fossils anyway, now that the museum's open again. Um, <laughs> that is the upgraded fossil that the kids at Nux Cranny give me, and I am always going to just buy the shovel rather than actually building one, so that's the one I ended up with. Alright. Alright. Let's grab our humongous stack of fossils. We'll do a little search around the island before we donate as well. Oops. Do, 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 do. It's not that humongous, but it's big enough, alright? It's big enough. Not saying anything else on that one. Okay, what is that? Oh, that's my music. Why did I put that away? I'm a big dummy, that's why. I kind of want to keep some of this stuff. The shark tooth pattern is going to look really cool. It's like a little display or something like that. We obviously we're going to build up the museum itself to look hella fancy. Let's get this music registered. Slowly building up my collection. I'm sure there's other music out there, but I will never experience it. I found my first love, and we're gonna get married and have beautiful, bizarre children. It's gonna be great. Okay, what have we planted here? Oh, they're bushes. So it turns out, I remember we planted some bushes down here the other day, um, just really to get them there. These are the hyacinths. Hyacinths? Yeah, and they're actually not in season, whereas the ones up there are azaleas. So they are in season and they should bloom later on and actually, you know, have flowers and stuff. Whereas the hyacinths are going to look like that until, well, whenever it is, they happen to be in season. So God knows when that could be. Uh, I assume summer, autumn, winter. <laughs> I assume not now. There we go. 
I did dig up a fossil. Well said, kid. That is an amazing shovel. It really is. Right. <clears throat> Let's head in and see who we have on the island today and what's going on, all that kind of... Well, there's Red. Hi, Red. Are you going to tell me to come meet you at the ship? Because that's what I want. I'm good, buddy. How are you doing? A lot of art fans. Good setup. Twin Peaks wants art. you got art to sell. You're a scam artist, but well, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm in. Let's do it. It makes sense. The only reason I know he's there is because of the internet. Whereas if I was playing the game completely without it, he has his booty just way out there. Oh! There you go, Blavers. I've got some bones for you. We're not going to go to the gallery yet, okay? Not yet. Just because... We don't have the artwork. We're going to go get more artwork and hopefully we'll get a real piece. I was under the impression that there would always be at least one, but there are people who are getting four fakes. He's going to offer us four pieces of art, basically. And we have to deduce which ones are real and which ones are fake. Fake. Come on, at least one, Blavers. Hooray! Well, last time it was three or so? We're so close to the end as well. We are so close to finishing this thing. I'm hoping for at least two. Honestly, two would be good. <gasps> Amazing. Well, that could still be two. Parasol tail, Diplo chest, Dinoni tail, Parasol tail. Wait. Yeah, okay, so we got three new ones. That's pretty good. That's it, Blavis. Cheers. I did not do this in the most efficient order I've done anything in my life. It's not saying much, nothing I do is particularly efficient, but... Right, so, we're gonna nip back to the house. I'm gonna drop off my many, many fossils. I, I still take the bridge. I can't help it. I just take the bridge. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go drop off the fossils into what is becoming an incredibly large fossil collection. It really is. I've got, like, 40 spare ones just sitting in my inventory. Like I said, we'll find uses for them down the line. Let's go. Oh, another shark tooth. Awesome, I actually specifically did want that. Got some coprolite, always fun for the whole family. Archelon tail, what else did we get? Brachio skull, always a good one. Place your tail. I would like some full skeletons outside of the uh, the museum, so it's pretty cool to get this kind of stuff. Do, 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 do. Bom, bom, bom. I'm trying to remember the conversion rate of money to turnips, and I believe it's 100 to, well, 1 to 2. No, 2 to 1. Yeah. As in, a stack of money gets you how many turnips? 100,000 gets you 100 turnips. Oh, and it's one to one. Hmm. Anyways. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, this way. Eventually. Oh, no, this way. <laughs> this will get easier. We're going to build like a full on pirate cove around Red's boat. It's going to be very cool. But uh, we're not there yet. This is actually where one of our ramps is going to go. Just so we can get up to the second tier again. All right, here we go. I'm excited about this. I'm going to try to do this without checking online, okay? Because it is... Look, I'm not exactly an art major. But I'm curious. Dolly Red's treasure trawler will sell only the finest, and there's nothing finer than fine art rare furniture. Of course, I can't let all these fine features walk out the door. One piece of art per day. Oh, we can only buy one. Buy all the furniture you want, no questions asked. Okay. Now let's have a look at the furniture, but what is that? Is it... Okay, I'm gonna get the artwork first, just out of sheer paranoia. So that's the Rosetta Stone, right? <laughs> Formative statue! <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure the problem with this is that it's... Is, is that it's blue? Am I crazy? It's... it's blue. I don't think the Rosetta Stone is blue. Okay. Right, well, I know this painting quite well, so let's take a look at this one. I'm, I'm convinced that the stone is wrong. So let's take a look at the painting. That 
looks okay to me. I know there's two things that can be wrong here. I need to stare at it for a second though. I've seen them open and close their eyes in a very weird way. That looks okay to me. Am I am I nuts? Okay, that that's definitely winning. I'm paranoid. I can only buy one, and like I don't know how often he's going to be coming back. You know. These two, I'm much less likely to know. I don't know this work here. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> he's proper. He's just. He's a. He's a bargainer. You know. I mean, that doesn't mean anything to me. Okay. I, I, I'm going to make my guess that it is the pearl uh, girl with the pearl earring, but I, it is it, now it's time to Google. I've made my guess. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see. I should be able to find like a guide online pretty easily. Bear with me. Professional here. Okay. Yeah, so usually I've seen it before. She has like a star earring or something like that. I just want to see... Maybe, oh no, boy, of course, you can have multiple real ones as well, so they're not all necessary. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Okay, give me a second. Bloody no, he sells a lot of artwork, doesn't he? Jesus. I scrolled like 100. Oh, this artwork is always genuine. Right, so that one's actually real as well. What about the statue? Um, familiar statue, informative statue. Let's find out the name. I knew the reset zone was wrong, and I was correct on that. So that one's correct. I'm probably going to buy that one because I like that one more. So I think both of these are actually real. And you can have multiple real ones as well. Which is cool. Gives it a bit of um, variation. Mystic statue. Mystic. It's a bust of Nefertiti. It will have a... a earring on the right ear, ear if it's fake. Let's see if this one's real as well. Okay, so that, that is fake. Okay, cool. I think we're going to get the big painting. Because it's, it's between these two on the left, right? Um, so why don't we just get the coolest one, basically. <laughs> Definitely getting this one. Let's do it. I don't like that the first thing he did was say, Ha! <laughs> I believe I can actually have someone come to my island and buy this one as well. If they so choose, might be a good idea. There we go. Shady seller. Oh, okay. Does that mean I got it right? Did the game just basically tell me that I got it right? <laughs> um, I may as well buy this because it's cheap enough and it goes in the catalogue, I guess. Maybe there will be a situation where I want a washer. I don't know what that situation is, but it probably exists. Yeah. It's cheap enough, right? It just doesn't matter. <laughs> this is a problem with having lots of bells. I become very undiscerning as a customer. Oh, it's this way. I would, I, I'm sorted red, no worries. I think I would have guessed that that was real. But if I was unsure, I would have gone with the go with the pearl earring. Which is also real. I feel bad for people who don't get any real ones. Must be frustrating. I shouldn't say that. Like, like, I think I'm right, but let's let's just make sure before something goes terribly wrong. So, I'm going to drop off our new furniture. We're going to take the artwork to Blavers, and we'll go check out the art museum thingamajiggy. And then we're going to go buy hello turnips. Actually, you know what? In aid of that, it's time to drop some stuff. Stuff that we don't need. We don't need the pole. Don't need the net. Don't need anything. All of it's going on the floor. If you aren't... Do I need a ladder? I don't need a ladder. No, I've got it out, so I can't. That's really annoying. Come on, kid. There's no reason for that to take so long. Place item. I'm just going to drop it all. I just want it to be as quick as possible, instead of having to do, like, 500 turnip trips. I'll keep the slingshot just in case. It's turn up day, it's the best day of the week. It genuinely is. So the, the plan is anyway to get as much as humanly possible. And then we can pay off our, both our house loans 
hopefully, which is about 3.3 million bells. And then I can just not really think about it anymore, you know? That's very much the goal. We should go check in with Nux Cranny as well, because they do sell some pretty expensive stuff. Did I put the artwork away? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no. Wait, no. Doesn't he ship it to us? I don't think it's in my inventory. I don't remember putting it away. I didn't put anything in storage. Did I? Am I nuts? I don't have it, do I? No, he's going to ship it to me. Okay. Am I going crazy? <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and check the footage. I do have two of those. I thought I did. And two of those. I don't like doubles. Okay, I'm going to assume that I'm remembering that somewhere in the back of my head and that that's right and that he's just going to mail us at some point. Oh, 103, that's quite bad. Doesn't really matter. On the scale of how much we sell for, that doesn't matter at all, but still. I can definitely get more than that, can't I? Yeah, just bear with me, Daisy. I'm going to go get money out, okay? I don't know where I'm going to put them all. <laughs> we might be filling the farm and double turnip rooms. And maybe a little bit more. And what I have to really hope for is that just one day in the coming week, I get a decent price on my own turnip, like here on this island, and that way... There you go. Wait, I only have four... How much do I have in the bank? It's not enough. Okay, I'm gonna get precisely. This is the plan. Two million worth. And I've got 707,000. That'll get me a ramp and a house today and tomorrow, at the very least. Plus money left over for emergencies. Maybe it has to take one more day. I, I would just be able to manage that as well. I didn't go check out the bloody museum. Because I got annoyed about not getting the art. We'll, we'll still go check the museum out. Let me just do the turnips. She's so cute. All of the turnips. I don't think you heard me correctly. All of the turnips. Wait, is that because of my inventory? May have made a miscalculation here. I figured she'd let me buy more and it would just replace the money in my inventory. It's very clearly not the case. Okay, we're going to drop bags of money on the floor <laughs> like a freaking tyrant. I do have a fairly full inventory, but I'd like to gather some more turnips in this. I'm just Scrooge McDucking. <laughs> God, I hope villagers can't steal my money. So it is a lot of cash, to be fair. I mean, it's two million. <laughs> Why was I expecting this to work? Plus, I've got tons of rubbish in my inventory. Right. Honestly, I'm just going to... Okay, let's give that a go. Daisy, look at what I've given you around this area. Stay here, okay? This is all for you, my love. You just need to hang around for me, okay? That's all I'm asking for. Maybe I can box her in with her. God, there's still... Still not inventory filling. It'll do, right. We'll just go back, because I need to drop stuff off anyway. That's partially the problem, is that I've just got an inventory full of nonsense. Right, the madness is finally over. I'm going to give you a quick turnip-based tour. So you should all be very excited. So this is turnip room one. Very exciting. Hold on to your hats for... Turnip room two! Ah, so... Uh, turnip room 2, which is the where the dark and scary turnip. This is where the edgy turnips go, okay? They're all up here in the rain on the train tracks, because they're edge lords. Uh, we're going to help out size. Already, that is near enough as many turnips as I've ever had, right there, in those two rooms. It's about 600,000 worth, I think. But of course, we have a few more than that. We have the farm over here, so that's another... I don't know, well, each... Oh, no, I'm missing a spot. Oh, that's very sad. So, 100... 
23,000. It's actually not worth that much, that stack there. 100k, something like that. Is that maths? Yeah? Yeah. No. No, no. A turnip is worth 100, right? Right now, so 100 turnips is worth 10,000. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40. It's, it's, it's about 250. So it's about a million. Yeah, it's about a million when you times it by five or so, which is about the average price I aim for. About 500 is my... It's become sort of the minimum. I'll take 450 if it's late in the week. <laughs> I'll take 450. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> then there's this. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of turnips. I don't really know how to put it. I have hella turnips, ladies. Hella turnips going on right now. All told, I should end up with about 10 million bells in the bank. Hopefully more. But... 10 million is about the minimum of what I would expect from what I've done here. Which is nuts. Really, when you think about it. Absolutely bloody nuts. So, so, let's take out 300k. 10 million. So, 10 million, what I'll do, that'll do is it'll pay off everything. My plan is not to keep doing this. My plan is very much this is the big week. This is the one that sets me up for life, essentially. I can pay off both house loans very quickly. And I have seven mil left over. That's plenty to get all the ramps and bridges we need, which in total comes to about 3.2 million. So I'd have about 4 million left over. Now, 4 million will not last forever. There's a crown in this game that costs a million. There's you know several items that cost several hundred thousand that I want to be able to buy. And I want to be able to buy things from other players, if need be, for, say, 3 to 400k. So, um, what was I saying? The plan after that will be to basically buy an inventory's worth of turnips and do one turnip swap a week, which will make me about 800-900k a week, and that should be enough to carry me for the rest of the game, basically. I was always going to do this with turnip market. It, it is wired into my personality. It really is. I'm not sure what that says about me, but it, it just it, it just is. It's made for me. Brick staircase time. Got it, Tommy. Bloody Nora. Done, not done yet, kid. We're gonna move Nux Cranny. Is it even called Nux Cranny anymore? Is it called something else? And then we'll go to the museum, I promise. <laughs> Hi, Timmy. He loves it, doesn't he? He loves it. Have we moved the house? I don't... Uh, uh, the shop, even. I'm not sure we've ever moved the shop. This may be the first time. I have moved Mabel's before, but only very slightly. Mabel's, Abel's, Sable's. <laughs> Isabel, what are you doing, love? <laughs> oh, she's getting her, getting her exercise in. Get those miles. Okay. Okay. Mary, I love you, love, but you are very in the way there. So, 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 let me just double check. I know what I'm doing here. Yeah, this should it should fit just in this gap here. So about there, I think. You have to tend to, for some reason, stand a bit further to the left. Is that right? I think that's right. Get out of the way, Hornsby. <laughs> that's right, right? I'm not going crazy. So scared. To, yeah, okay, it's right, it's right, it's right, it's right, it's right, it's right, it's right. Okay. The next step is making sure the shop is in the right position as well. Um, do we need to move this back any further? Probably, right? Yeah, just by one, though. Not a big deal. My nose is incredibly itchy. Like there's an insect inside of me. Oh, no, way further. Oh, we have to go way further back. Okay, I'm going to subject you to a little bit of cliff construction, as exciting as it is. Just so we can put the shop up here. And that means in the next episode we can focus... <laughs> we can focus entirely on just decorating the area, on making this area look really nice. Because we've nearly done the orchard, I still want to work on stalls and some other stuff. But, like I said, we're, we're trying to hone... <laughs> trying to hone in and focus on specific little areas. 
And this is, you know, it's a big part of the place. It's, it's, it's sharp and able and <laughs> It's important. Oh, kill me now. And then the next thing, the next big thing I want to move after this, I want to get the museum moved. I don't necessarily want to do all the decoration for it. Uh, do I though? The problem with the museum is it is very reliant on the decoration in its creation. You know, it's all about the ramps and stuff like that and how much room we've got. And I think if I don't build into it naturally, if I try to force it right away, it's not going to come out right. What I'm trying to do is kind of build these little points like this here in the orchard up there and then organically grow outwards from those places so I can A, match in style, but B, always know how much room I've got to play with. If it sounds a little type A, that's because it is a little type A, okay? <laughs> I need a new nose. What is going on? Someone get me a new one. Urgh! I have billions of turnips. <laughs> Why don't I have a new nose? Also, what is going on? Alright, I'm doing my loop. Every time I don't do the loop, terrible things happen. The loop is the saviour that we all need. I'll let you off for that one, loop, because I do need to build there. That one I will not forgive. The loop has betrayed me. Not for the first time, it must be said. Okay. Oh, I need to get rid of these ramps as well. Um, so remember, the plan is basically you'll come up on this right-hand side, you'll walk past Nook's Cranny, it's going to go further out to the right, like where I am now. Then it's going to walk forward, and you'll... Okay, it'll go basically straight forward and there'll be two staircases leading up towards the museum and on the right hand side of that is going to be a raised area where we're then going to put the paleontological dig site. Does that all make sense? Yeah. Okay, so let's hop up here. Oh, I still have... <gasps> I could get more turnips! Oh wait, no, 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 no. This is to pay this guy off. I completely forgot about that bit. I thought, oh, bonus money. <laughs> that's that's more turnips right there. Yeah, I'm getting pretty tired of your passive aggressiveness, Lloyd. Alright, I'm the only one who contributes, okay? It would be nice if the other people on the island chucked in a little bit. They might do, to be honest. I always pay it off instantly, so. And I know the idea is so that you and whoever you share your switch with are able to donate to the same thing. But it'd be cool if the others chucked in like a little bit, not even enough to make a dent, but just as a sign that they are also interested in the communal building of the island, basically. Now, where did I put you? Right, so I've put you even with that line there. This, by the way, is going to come out a bit further and eventually lead over there to the orchard, as you can see. What I'm going to do behind here, I don't know. It's room for fun, basically. So, anyways, we need the right-hand side of Nook's Cranny. Right, 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 but let me think about this. Where's the back? Is that a gap? No? Question mark? Has to sit above that. The symmetry here is actually important to me. That's to be a gap of one. So the right hand side of Nooks has to line up with this bit here, which is the edge of the bridge. Let's just go there and see what that looks like. Well, that's not right. That, I think, is right. I don't think there's meant to be a gap behind the shop. It's not, right? That's that's correct. That's correct. Cool. It's going to look so good. I'm actually super excited for what this is going to turn out like. I'm very glad I planned my island out because the, the limitation on ramps is a killer. It really is. <clears throat> okay, so they don't look symmetrical because they're not. Nook's Cranny is two spaces wider than Abel's, but we're going to build a little something here. And then if we put something in the middle... It will look symmetrical, basically. As long as whatever he whatever's here is distinct in colour and tone from whatever's here, basically. I, I, I think that's going to look really, really nice. I don't think I can put a fence here, which was kind of the plan originally. I don't think that's going to work. Because then I'd only have one room space walking-wise. Oh, I want to try something out whilst we're here. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Do I? Oh, no, let me have a look. <laughs> I found a pattern. The reason we, One of the reasons I was inspired to move towards brick is it this. Oh, is it? I hope not. <laughs> I hope that's not it. <laughs> no, it can't. Wait, what is that then? If that's not what it... God, I hope that's not there. It doesn't look good, does it? Um, 
One of the reasons I was inspired to go for the brick is because I found a path online, which I'm hoping that isn't what that is, because I'm scared now, because that looked, well, <laughs> that looked rubbish. Um, I found a path online that matches the brick in terms of, like, it looks like the brick leads really naturally into the path. It looks really nice, and that kind of inspired me to want to use brick, basically. Right, here at Horns, how you doing, buddy? Mornings are neat. So, my sleep is actually... Oh, excuse me. My sleep is horrendous right now, like super, super bad. But I was just thinking before, just before I start recording, as bad as it is, and it is bad, you know, I'm nocturnal. A, it doesn't really matter right now. <laughs> like, in so many ways, it does not matter right now. And B, part of me likes it. Part of me enjoys it, because I get to see dawn and dusk. I suppose you always do that, don't you? Don't most people see dawn? No, most people probably don't see dawn, do they? Really? Most people don't see dawn and dusk. I sleep between dawn and dusk. I think most people probably miss dawn. I love dawn and dusk. Dawn and dusk are like the best times of the day. And it's just... There's something nice for me. I do a lot of my gaming at like 3, 4am at the moment. And it's quiet. No one bothers me. You know, I'm just totally free to just work, basically. <clears throat> Slash really get into the games in a way that... I don't typically. I've had so much fun the last few days playing Animal Crossing and a lot of Mass Effect. I don't know. Like, it's not a healthy sleeping pattern. It's not one I should sustain, but whilst I'm in quarantine, I'm genuinely enjoying it. If I had a normal job, it would obviously never be possible. And there's one thing I'm going to try to do. I'm just going to ramble here at the end of the video. <laughs> um, one thing I do want to do. I'm moving soonish. Um, whoops. And I'd like, I'm going to get an office, like a proper recording office, and it's not going to be in my bedroom. Unfortunately, I share an apartment with like three other people, so I, I don't really have my own space except my bedroom, so my recording has to be done in here. But I would love like a proper studio, so I don't work in the same place I sleep and live and stuff like that. I think if you can separate things out more, then you'll be in a better headspace for work anyway, so I'm very excited about that. Just in case you were curious, really. All right, let's go look at the museum. Have they changed the colour of it? It did used to be white and blue. Cool. How are we doing on time, folks? It's been an hour. How's it been an hour? <laughs> Wait, no, I was doing turnips for most of that. That's fine. Right then, let's hop upstairs. Here we go. Very exciting. Let's go check it out. I'm just going to turn this off. I'm going to have to get a wand. I actually have one. Uh, what the one does is it lets you change outfits. So whilst I'm here, somewhere nice and fancy, you know, it would be nice to have some slightly fancier clothes, I guess. Something more museum appropriate. This is really cool. There's a lot of pieces. This is going to take ages to fill. Oh my god. <laughs> if you think about it, Compare it to like the museum, uh, the aquarium stuff. Maybe it's the same amount of stuff. It's probably a little bit less, if anything. But you can only ever get one at a time. And Red doesn't visit that often, as far as we know. Maybe once a week, something like that. He's like a travelling salesman like Leaf and CJ and all the rest of them. This is going to take months. And then what if you get the wrong ones? There's going to be a lot of trading going on. This is another circumstance where being part of the community or being a time traveller are big things. I'm still refusing to time travel. This is cool though. Oh my god, so much. I've just realised what how close I was to making a terrible error. Because this is the one we've already got. Of course we do. This is the one we got um, as our initial one. How many people were yelling at me during that sequence on the boat where I was considering picking up Girl with Pearl Earring? I mean, I could have traded it, but I, I feel like this is quite a common one. Oh. Um, I nearly picked it up again. I, I was deciding between this one and the other one, and thankfully I went for the other one. That could have been a terrible mistake. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Beautiful. Right, well, this is the museum. This is definitely... So the aquarium and the bug place... Insectary, I've decided it's called all of a sudden. <laughs> they look really cool on their own. They're like very flashy displays. This is less impressive on its own, but I think it's going to look really cool when we get all the artwork. 
I'm very excited to find out what's out there, you know? I'm really, really looking forward to it. Okay, I think we're gonna end it there. I've been going back and forth in this in my head for a while. I think we're gonna move to every other day now with Animal Crossing. Um, but if anything big happens, I will reserve that for Tuesday. But so if anything big happened on Monday, we'd record on Monday, I think. And let's say Red sends me the artwork tomorrow, which is what I'm hoping will happen. Then I won't deliver that till Tuesday. We'll save that. We can wait on that, and we can do that again together. Same thing with like donating loads of fossils to the museum. I'll always do that with you guys. We'll always have a video on the first of the month because we want to hunt for the new animals and stuff like that. Anytime there's an event for the first time, that will again be a video. So I'm not going to rigidly stick to it. But a lot of the time right now, especially now that we've seen most of the stuff this event has to offer, um, it's going to basically just be terraforming and decoration. And we'll definitely do some of that in the videos, but I don't want to. I don't think I want to go on and do that every day. And like I say, there is a video game video game? How often do I say the words video game? <laughs> There's a game that I really really want to play and um, it suits the channel really well, it's going to fit perfectly so I'm really excited to give that a go and I think it'll fit in with an every other day Animal Crossing kind of vibe. I'd love to hear what you guys think though, let me know what you think in the comments down below, would you be okay with it every other day? I'm a little bit apprehensive to do it for some reason, I've been doing this every day for the last month and a half nearly so it'd be weird to change it up but I think for the long-term health of Animal Crossing, it might be the right play to make, just because it's a game that benefits from longevity. I'm not going to do a video every day for a year, so spacing it out is probably good for keeping the series going and going and going without ever feeling tiresome. But I'd love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments down below. I will see you lovely folks in that next episode, whether that's on Monday or indeed Tuesday. And if it's not tomorrow, that means something brand new will be starting, something I'm very excited about, so keep an eye out for that. Until then, thank you very much for joining me. Cheers, much love as always. Bye-bye.